Nantucket Pine Tip Moth. The Nantucket Pine Tip Moth is a gray insect with irregular patches of red, copper, and gray bands on its wings. This relatively small native moth, approximately one quarter inch long, is rarely seen, not even during its active period from February to early fall. Any time from February to late March, the moth emerges from infested pine branches to mate and lay eggs in niches on the base of pine needles and twigs. After several days of incubation, these eggs hatch into worm-like larvae ready to feed on new growth. This yellowish-white to light-brown larva will continue to feed on new growth, moving down into the terminal buds until maturity. The larvae then pupate in the hollow feeding cavities. The brown capsule-like pupae will remain in these hollow cavities for several days until they emerge as adult moths. This generation cycle can be repeated four or five more times during a given year. Damage to pines is caused primarily by the larva of the Nantucket pine tip moth. This damage is quite noticeable, with browning and dying of infested shoots. A closer view of the infested area will reveal resin beads and fine webbing on the branch tips. When infested shoots or buds are broken open, there will be a hollow space. At the bottom end of these hollow shoots and buds, the larva or pupae are usually present. Often attacking loblolly pines, the larva of the pine tip moth will occasionally infest shortleaf, slash, and Virginia pines. While seedlings and saplings less than six years old are the primary victims of this pest, loblolly saplings in an intensely managed stand with little to no herbaceous growth are the most susceptible. Stem dieback stunts the growth of the infested pines and creates a bushy effect near the terminal buds. However, unless the pine sapling is severely infested, mortality rarely occurs. For an infested pine plantation, a control method is not generally recommended as it would not be practical or economically feasible. While there are insecticides that can be used to control pine tip moths, they can be quite expensive. Most of the systemic insecticides are no longer available, but contact insecticides such as Pounce and Seven can still be purchased. Timing of application is very critical in the effectiveness of these insecticides, with the best time to apply just prior to the emergence of the adult moth. It's very important that the moth or larva make contact with the insecticide in order to control this pest. These insecticides are preferably used on pines where aesthetics are very important, such as on a Christmas tree farm or in an urban setting. The natural progression of stand establishment can significantly reduce susceptibility to Nantucket pine tip moth infestation. Once the pine stand initiates crown closure, usually when saplings are more than five years old and taller than 12 feet, they are not very susceptible to attack. The presence of herbaceous weeds in the stand can also be a natural way of controlling an infestation. The existence of this vegetation provides habitat for natural predators that prey on pine tip moths. As a preventative method, planting a more resistant pine species can definitely reduce or even prevent an infestation. For example, if the site is suitable for longleaf pine, strongly consider establishing the site with this pine species.